Okay, here we are in part 8 of the video series using a Raspberry Pi for home automation. In the last video we installed XRDP. In a previous version we had installed um, one home automation piece of software and um, that was OpenHab2. In this video, we're going to be installing HA Bridge version 5. I'm guessing the HA stands for Home Automation Bridge version 5. Uh, you can find some documentation on this um, in a couple of different places. HTTP colon forward slash forward slash bwsystems.com. You can also find a lot of information about this on GitHub on BW Systems website. You can see they, they have everything on here for home automation um, bridge release version 5.0.0. That's the version we'll be installing today. So let's get started. The first thing that you're going to want to do is create a directory. Um, create a directory and make sure that the HA bridge jar is in uh, forward slash home forward slash pi forward slash HA bridge directory. So we'll go ahead and we'll open up our putty. We'll go into our, we'll log into our pi. From there, we will um, go ahead and, like before, I'll go ahead and I'll add um, these commands um, down below in the in the description area, so that you can just copy and paste them to your your text file and copy paste them to either Word or uh, WordPad. Okay, so make directory ha bridge. Now we're going to uh, change directory, cd, ha bridge. Okay, now we're in that directory. We're going to want to get the, the file for that. GitHub.com. So um, if you want to see where I got this file, you can just copy. up to here. Um, also there's probably let's see here. And then releases. Okay, and then releases. Downloads, there it is. So how we got, well, this is the 4.5. 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 
it's doing that. Um, okay, now it's already done doing that. Um, it wants you to uh, do system control setup on Pi. And so we'll do change directory. Four slash etc four slash system d four slash system. Now we're in that folder. It wants us to sudo nano ha bridge dot service. That's we're entering in that that file. Okay, so we're in that file. It wants us to copy. The text we're going to be copying all the way from the beginning of unit all the way down to um, the last word target. And we're going to paste that in there. And then we're going to do uh, control X. We're going to save the file. Oops, wrong one. Why? Like we kind of goop that up. So let's try it again. Let's see, Control X. We'll go in there and see if that's in there. Okay, there's our unit description, HA bridge, and then our service, and then our install. So it's in there, so we'll do control X again. Um, after that's done, we're going to go back to our, our beginning directory. And how you do that is just, I could have typed this in, um, change directory. I'm going to do that three times to bring you back. One, two, three. Now we're back to the very beginning. And now we're going to do sudo ctl Damien reload. Enter. Do sudo system ctl start ha bridge service. Now we're going to do sudo system ctl enable ha bridge dot service file. The, the dot service. And now we're going to change directions and go into the um, change directory home pi ha bridge. And now we're doing nano start ha bridge dot sh. And then in there, we have to cut and paste all of this. So everything from the beginning change directory all the way to .txt, the ha bridge dash log.txt. So we'll copy that, we'll paste that in. And then again, we'll do control X. And we'll do Y. And just to double check that everything's in there, we're going to go ahead and we're going to look at that folder again. Okay. Got our CD. No, 
Now, of course, this is all bunched up because it's too long to fit in one line. So there should be a total of three lines, four lines, yeah, four lines, because this is going to make up one line. Okay, so we'll do Control X again and get out of there. Now we're supposed to ch mod u plus x start bridge dot sh. And then execute the script. Okay, it says the bridge should now be running. Um, I'm going to put in my uh, router private IP address and yours may be the same maybe you, you, you've used a different IP address if you have you'll want to enter that in http colon forward slash forward slash and your IP address and boom it's up so that was a pretty easy install. From here, you can actually um, set up permissions. If, you, if you're concerned about somebody else getting on your Raspberry Pi, you can um, you can set it up. Oops, went too far. <laughs> you can set it up uh, so that people have to enter in a username and a password. Um, you would want to click on update security settings and this is where you, you would add a user and an IP I would just use the same username and IP or I'm sorry username and password I would use the same user ID and password that you use to set up the to get into the Raspberry Pi just to make things easier so you don't forget unless of course you want to write it down just to make sure absolutely that you don't forget it because you don't want to forget it Okay, so we've we've gotten that installed. It says you must um, you must configure devices before you will have anything for the Echo or other controller that is connected to the HA bridge to receive. Okay, so we haven't gone through the actual setup of installing or, or uh, configuring the device to work with it yet. Um, but we've got it installed and I'll do a, a video later on of how to set this up. I know in the in one of the prior videos I had mentioned that I was using using this HA bridge to um, I hadn't mentioned it but I had mentioned that I was using OpenHAB to control my um, my security cam TV slash monitor when in fact actually it's it's HA bridge that I use um, to control that not open open hab open hab 2 I actually haven't used open hab 2 with anything yet but um, as soon as I figure out exactly how that works I'll do a video on that and um, this was a short video but next we will be doing something that will take um, probably several videos to complete and that one is um, Alexa Roku that one is a very long a very long video um, and if you can get that in and get it working and running you can do anything um, but till then till I make that video I hope all of you have a good day Thanks for watching.